Are you a producer? Yep. Do you sell your beats online? Nope. Well, that's cool. In this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and how I was able to sell my beats online and made a very, very successful lucrative business behind it. We're gonna be digging into some more info and some tips and tricks to help you guys be better at your brand. Stay tuned. Let's start talking about the immediate things that you're gonna need in order to sell your music online. Primarily, there are five places that you can sell your music that a lot of producers use. There are also others, but as you see on the actual uh, slide right here, the five main ones are Airbit, BeatStars, Soundy, Sound Engine, or Sound Gene, or Sound Genie, I think, and Track Train. So let me go through what all five of these are so you, buy, you guys can have a better and clearer understanding of what they are. So Airbit, uh, it used to be what was called my flash store, right? So Airbit was one of the first uh, services to be offered for producers to host their beats on like this digital store. It was really cool. And uh, they automatically process the payments for you through a direct order and delivery type of service. Uh, as it says here, some of the most well-known producers who started off with this was Superstar O and Tone Jones. Uh, now it's been converted from uh, my flash store over to Airbit. And now they are like the second largest user base for producers. Now they've actually enhanced it from uh, 2019 and up uh, they have an infinity infinity store and they have an airbit studio i am an airbit user i have no complaints with it they've been doing extremely well with their service so i'm really proud to be part of the airbit team uh the next one is beat stars beat stars is currently leading the market though so they're number one airbit is number two and beat stars is number one but uh, one of the ones that made this uh, platform extremely famous, this was actually uh, where Old Town Road was done from Young uh, Keo, which is the producer from BeatStars. And after that, I think a lot of people just started hopping on BeatStars and you know, BeatStars has just been taking off. But the two main ones that you're gonna hear a lot of is either gonna be Airbit or it's gonna be BeatStars. Uh, the next one is called Soundy and Soundy was launched, it's fairly new. So this one was uh, in 2019 from, I think his name is Kevin Tao. So he's a producer who started, you know, another platform for other producers. And he shaped this platform based on the current needs for online producers. That was his vision for this. Um, all that they, they provide similar features like Airbit and BeatStars, their aim is to bridge the gap between making beats and marketing beats by putting the focus on efficiency, marketing integrations, and modern e-commerce solutions which is totally different in the aspect of you know just regularly selling your beats um the next one is sound genie i think it's sound genie and they have uh five years experience in the industry and they focus majorly on embedded players and a digital store, which all the other ones do. These last three that I'm mentioning, a lot of people, you probably won't hear about it because BeatStars and, and Airbit is dominating the game in the platform. Sound Genie is one where it's a closed community. Um, in 2020, they launched their new website to introduce a new and improved digital marketplace. They're focusing more on the actual engagement of the producer community, which is kind of cool. The last one is called Track Train. Now, Track Train came out around 2013 this one is specifically invite only and uh, i got accepted into you know the actual invite i haven't uploaded anything yet to them they are specifically catered towards looking for a specific type of sound so they are more of a curated uh platform they're uh quote unquote picky as to who they bring on the platform because they want to have the highest quality of beats on their platform so that's their main focus make sure that you guys integrate for your best brand and what you think will be good for you. They have a lower and a high tier. And as you see on the screen, Airbit, when you start for a low tier, you can go and put 50 beats up per month for $9. Um, for uh, BeatStars, it's $10 again. Airbit is $10, BeatStars $10. Soundy is $10. The percentage of what you see, what it is that they take from your sales on the marketplace. Now, I'll go into detail is uh, if you have your own place and not sell your beat on the actual marketplace, what you wanna do is make sure that you sell it outside of the marketplace. I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, Sound Genie, they sell for $8.99. They don't take any commission. And Track Train, they sell for $9 a month or the fee is $9 a month and they take 20% commission of your sales. If you sell on their website, 
in their marketplace, then they can still get a percentage of it. But if you take your store and then put it on your website, you get a hundred percent commission. Okay. So for the higher tier on marketplace for all of these, Airbit is $20, BeeStars is $20, uh, Soundy is $20, Sound Genius is $20 and track train is pretty much $19. So you might as well say $20 for every one of those higher tiers across the board. You make the call, whatever best suits and fits for you guys. You can go and start making, uh, let's just say for instance, you wanna start to market your music outside of your marketplace or your website. Three good things that you can do is you can go to Instagram, you can go to TikTok, and you can go to Facebook. And what you do is they have shorts now. Even on YouTube, they have shorts too. That's a little tricky. We'll talk about YouTube and how if you wanna monetize your YouTube, that's gonna be a whole nother video, but you just make the shorts of you making the beat. And then, you know, in the description, you can put where they can find you, where they can follow your social media. And a lot of people tend to find that your music coming through those uh, links are gonna be real integratable for that. You don't sell in the marketplace. You sell it on your website so that you can get the full 100% commission. So on my website, that's how I know I'll get it. Make sure that you sell your stuff on your site and to share your site and bring more traffic towards your site and you'll get more money into your brand. In order to get yourself out there to get recognized and to say, for instance, for the shorts, right? When we was talking about putting your music on shorts, make those free so that when people hear it, you can say, hey, now this is something that you can use for free. It's a free promo. You could take this beat, uh, just, you know, use those beats and then those beats can be free. And then, you know, a lot of people can just go and start recognizing your stuff. And that's another way for you to get recognized. So I do want to share uh, a little bit of my sales. As you see on the screen, this is not the full total sales of what I've done this year. Um, I'm grateful for everybody. First, let me just shout you guys out that have been going to the page and checking out the music. But um, some of this has been through uh, my marketplace on my store. Some has been through the marketplace on Airbit. Some of the sales I made was actually through Cash App. That's what I'm saying. All my recorded sales isn't recorded here. Thank you so much, guys. Shout out to everybody that has supported the music what you want to do again is make sure that every time you are promoting your music or putting your music on your website that you have some stuff that is free and you have your sound packs that are free as well all of them maybe one or two just to introduce the sound packs again you have to find a way within yourself and your brand to promote your music you make yourself a brand. It's not just about selling music. It's about selling the brand. And a lot of time producers forget that we are a brand and one major key. And if you guys have looked at my video on the mindset of producer, if you haven't checked this one out right here, one way of putting yourself in the mindset of being a great producer is thinking outside of the box. And one foundation that I hope that you guys focus on is customer service. If there's one thing that you get from this video, always remember your customer service is number one, numero uno, it's key. It will make you a better producer. It will make you a better brand. It will make you better all around them. They don't wanna just feel like, you know, they're just getting something uh, as far as music from you. They want an experience. So make sure that your brand has awesome customer service that brings top notch experience. I can't stress that enough. If you guys like this video, please make sure you drop a like and a comment at the bottom of this. Um, but again, I would love some feedback. What has made you successful? And let's share in the knowledge of helping other people. But at the same time, we're all learning together, being and making ourselves the best producers that we can be. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. And once again, you already know who it is. It's your boy Thesis. Peace.